so hi everyone and a very good morning to all of you welcome back once again to another class of pib 247 in today's session we will be talking about the pib news from 25th to 27th of march 2023 and i hope your preparations for the upcoming rbi examinations are going well please don't wait for the notification every time i am saying uh, this to you guys so just don't wait for the notification and just give you 100% for the upcoming examination all right so let's begin with the very first question which says what is the minimum support price for raw jute per quintal approved by the cabinet committee on economic affairs for 23 24 season now this question is very much important for the nabard examination for nabard aspirants this question is very important however rbi can also ask it because aajkal rbi kuch bhi puch raha hai so in these days government is also focused much on the farmers and the agriculture sector so it is possible that rbi will also ask this question in the examination so what is the msp for raw jute per quintal approved by the cabinet committee on economic affairs for 23 24 season that is for the next financial year right so remember it has been approved by cabinet committee on economic affairs to yahi question aapke exam mein in the you know in the static form aa sakta hai that which of the following committees or agencies approves uh, the msp right so in that case the answer would be cabinet committee on economic affairs but remember one more thing that this committee approves the msp on the recommendation of cspp which is commission for agriculture cost and prices this is also very important to remember right so for raw jute for the upcoming financial year season the msp is rupees 50 50 per quintal 5050 which means 5050 per quintal right and remember in the budget in the union budget 2018-19 the government of india announced that it will always fix msp at a level of at least 1.5 times of all india weighted average cost of production as the msp all right and this decision this approval of msp is also in line with that decision in fact all msps uh, which are being approved by the cabinet committee on economic affairs are in line with this particular decision right remember all these things in india regarding raw jute is being done by jute corporation of india and what will it do here it will undertake price support operations and losses incurred jo bhi losses incurred honge uh, due to uh, this msp all those losses will shall be incurred by jute corporation of india and those losses will be fully reimbursed by the government of india all right so that is all about this news and what is the msp ऑप्शन डी 5050 इज द करेक्ट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर टू पे आ जाते हैं वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन कैबिनेट कमेटी ऑन इकोनॉमिक अफेयर्स हैज अप्रूव्ड अ सब्सिडी ऑफ रुपीज टू हंड्रेड पर फोर्टीन पॉइंट टू के जी सिलेंडर फॉर अप टू ट्वेल्व रिफिल्स पर इयर टू द बेनिफिशियरी ऑफ उज्ज्वला योजना सो यू नीड टू आइडेंटिफाई इन करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट अबाउट प्रधानमंत्री उज्ज्वला योजना सो न्यूज इज दिस ओनली दैट दैबिनेट कमेटी ऑन इकोनॉमिक अफेयर हैज अप्रूव द सब्सिडी on 14.2 kg cylinder per beneficiary for 12 refills in a year under pradhan mantri ujjwala yojana to subsidy bhi yaad rakhna kitna 200 per cylinder right 200 per cylinder and up to 12 refills per year which means government is uh, considering that a family is using one cylinder in a month all right total subsidy expenditure in financial year 22 23 jo ki ab khatam hone wala hai Uh, under this particular scheme, the total subsidy expenditure is 6100 crore. While for the next financial year, upcoming financial year, that will be starting from 1st of April, the subsidy expenditure shall be 7680 crores, right? And all PMUI beneficiaries are eligible to have the benefits of this subsidy scheme. And of course, the subsidy will be given in the form of direct benefit transfer to their bank accounts. All right. now talking about ujjwala yojana so we all know about ujjwala yojana but let's talk about the scheme in brief so remember it was launched in the year 2016 by prime minister modi from a place uh, uh, from balia district of up right the objective we all know to provide deposit free lpg connection to adult women household uh, to adult women member in a household all right ministry is ministry of petroleum and natural gas which is currently headed by mr hardeep singh puri hardeep singh puri all right under the scheme deposit free lpg connection is given to the eligible household with financial assistance of rupees 1600 per connection 1600 rupees per connection financial assistance di jati hai in a way free lpg connection is given and free of cost 
फर्स्ट रिफिल पहली रिफिल जो होती है दैट इज एब्सोल्युटली फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट अलोंग विद अ गैस स्टोव इज आल्सो प्रोवाइडेड ऑलराइट नाउ इनिशियल टारगेट अंडर दिस स्कीम वाज 5 करोड़ बट लेटर ऑन द टारगेट वाज एक्सटेंडेड टू कवर 8 टू प्रोवाइड सिलेंडर्स टू 8 करोड़ बेनिफिशियरीज एंड व्हिच वाज अचीव्ड इन द मंथ ऑफ सितंबर 2019 राइट and as on 1st march 2023 there are 9.59 crore beneficiaries of this scheme because because in the year 2021 the scheme was extended in the form of pradhan mantri ujjwala yojana 2.0 right to include 1 crore more beneficiaries under this particular scheme so ujjwala 2.0 was started in 2021 to cover remaining households under pm ui on pan india basis to provide additional 1 crore lpg connections all right i hope this is clear and let's identify the incorrect statement about the scheme it was launched in 2016 to provide deposit free lpg connections to adult women of poor households sahi baat hai it is being implemented by ministry of consumer affairs food and public distribution no it is being implemented by ministry of petroleum and natural gas which makes this statement as incorrect which means the correct answer is option b because we need to identify the incorrect statement question number 3 identify incorrect statement again about itu2 grouping what is this it i2u2 right and why it is in news so itu2 stands for india israel uae and usa india israel uae and usa is the full form of itu2 now it is in news because there was some uh, rumors uh in the market that there will be some kind of i2u2 consortium is being set up for agriculture sector so ministry of external affairs has clarified that there is no proposal to form such consortium to develop agriculture and its allied technology so when i2u2 is in news let's talk about it so as i told you i2u2 stands for what india uae usa and israel right so these are this is a group and this is majorly an economic cooperation group this group was formed for economic cooperation economic cooperation in the respective regions jahan pe bhi ye charo desh ka regions hai wahan pe economic cooperation bani rahe that is the objective all right to discuss common areas of mutual interest to strengthen the economic partnership in trade and investment in our respective regions and beyond that is the objective or basically you can say it is an economic cooperation group all right nothing more than that it is an intergovernmental economic cooperation forum and its first summit took place last year in the year 2022 in virtual format charo jo the wo virtually baithe the charo head of the state and there are six areas of cooperation i2u2 is focused on six areas of cooperation which was which are water energy transport space health and food security all right and remember one more initiative aim for climate aim for c what is this aim for c remember aim for c was launched by uae and us together during cop 26 now why we are discussing about it because later on initially it was launched by uae and us right later on it was joined by israel as a partner state right and in the month of february 2023 it was also signed by india so you can say it is now uh, joined by all the members of i2 u2 and that's why it is also in news right now what is this aim for c aim for c hai kya it seeks to address climate change and global hunger two things climate change and global hunger by uniting partners to increase investment in and other support for climate smart agriculture and food system so basically it is catering to it has dual objectives of number 1 reducing the climate change and number 2 eradication of the global hunger from the world all right so that is all about it and now let's come back to the question you need to identify incorrect statement about i2u2 it is an intergovernmental economic cooperation forum of india israel uae and usa sahi baat hai its inaugural summit was held in 2022 in washington dc in physical format no this is absolutely incorrect why it took place in virtual format it see six key areas of cooperation आर वॉटर एनर्जी ट्रांसपोर्ट स्पेस हेल्थ एंड फूड सिक्योरिटी ये बिल्कुल सही है सो इन करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट आइडेंटिफाई करना है विच मीन ऑप्शन डी टू ओनली विल बी द करेक्ट आंसर नाउ गाइज रिमेम्बर वन थिंग यू नीड टू फोकस ऑन दिस वर्ड वेदर यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई दी करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट और दी इन करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट 
बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम्स ऑप्शन जो होगा वो कंफ्यूजन दे रखा होगा दोनों वाला दे रखा होगा सी हेयर द करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट आर वन एंड थ्री विच इज ऑल्सो इन दी ऑप्शन एंड द इन करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट इज टू विच इज ऑल्सो इन दी ऑप्शन राइट सो जल्दीबाजी में ऐसा नहीं होना चाहिए कि करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट मार्क करके आ गए वन एंड थ्री ओनली राइट सो प्लीज फोकस ऑन दिस वर्ड करेक्ट या इनकरेक्ट आइडेंटिफाई करना है क्या करना है क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर वेर हैज दी ऑफिस ऑफ प्रिंसिपल साइंटिफिक एडवाइजर टू द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया ऑर्गेनाइज दर्टेन रेजर इवेंट फॉर दी फोर्थ कमिंग जी ट्वेंटी सी एस ए आर विच इज चीफ साइंस एडवाइजर राउंड टेबल टॉक अबाउट इट रिमेंबर द न्यूज इज दिस ओनली Office of Principal Scientific Advisor to the Government of India. And can you tell me who is the Principal Scientific Advisor to the Government of India? Write down in the comment section. So this office has organized a curtain raiser event for the forthcoming Chief Science Advisor Roundtable G20 CSR in Ramnagar in Uttarakhand. So it was this curtain raiser event was organized in Ramnagar, which is in Uttarakhand. It is located nearby Nainital. All right. Now what is this G20 CSR? CSAR. remember it is a government to government level initiative conceptualized during india's g20 presidency and as the name says it brings together chief science advisors chief science advisors and their equivalents of g20 member countries as well as the invited members all right and what it does kya hoga isme so basically all these members and the partner states will deliberate upon and develop collaborative frameworks for some of the common pressing global science and technology policy issue so as the name says ab chief science advisor ki agar meeting ho rahi hai to wo khane ki baat to karenge nahi wo kis ki baat karenge ya wo bhukam ki baat to karenge nahi kar bhi sakte lekin wo majorly agar aap se dekha jaye to global science and technology policy issues jo bhi hai unke upar focus karenge right it will also help in establishing an effective and coherent global science advice mechanism okay so that is all about it and where did it take place in ramnagar in uttarakhand option b is the correct answer question number 5 important question hai ministry of environment forest and climate change uh, headed by headed by i'm forgetting the name chalo anyways has launched aravli green wall project to green the 5 km buffer area around the aravli hill range in four states or uts which of the following states or uts are covered under this project so that's aravli green wall project aravli green wall project is being implemented by minister ministry of environment forest and climate change and yes headed by bhupendra yadav all right now what is this uh, aravli green wall project so basically it will cover it will green the 5 km buffer area around the aravli hill region in four states which are haryana rajasthan gujarat and delhi Haryana, Rajasthan, Gujarat, and NCT Delhi, National Capital Territory of Delhi, and it is a part of Environment Ministry's uh, vision to create green corridors across the country so that we can combat the land degradation. All right, and also it will involve. मतलब होगा क्या कैसे greenery करेंगे कैसे green बनाएंगे उस corridor को. So basically, planting of native species of trees and shrubs on scrub land, waste land, and degraded forest land. Along with rejuvenating and restoring surface water bodies. Now such lines, is तरीके की lines जो होती हैं guys, ये आप अगर word to word याद कर रहे हो तो बहुत गलत कर रहे हो. Of course, this is a generic thing, ना? When the government wants to green the area, what will it do? It will plant the plants. That's it, right? So this is all uh, which is written here. So which are the four states? Haryana, Gujarat, Delhi, and Madhya Pradesh? No, I think two. हरियाणा राजस्थान हरियाणा राजस्थान गुजरात एंड दिल्ली यस हरियाणा राजस्थान गुजरात एंड दिल्ली वन टू थ्री एंड फोर इज दी करेक्ट आंसर ऑप्शन सी ऑप्शन सी इसका सही जवाब है वन टू थ्री एंड फोर नॉट मध्य प्रदेश विच स्टेट हैज बीन अवॉर्डेड फॉर इट्स प्रोग्रेस टूवर्ड्स एंडिंग टीवी ड्यूरिंग वर्ल्ड वर्ल्ड वन वर्ल्ड टीवी समेट वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन भाई बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन है आई बिलीव कि इसमें से फेज वन में या फेज टू में क्वेश्चन आने ही वाला है नो वन कैन स्टॉप इट so this one world tb summit one world tb summit was organized recently on the occasion of world tuberculosis day which was observed on 24th march and where did it take place it took place in varanasi in uttar pradesh kahan pe varanasi now what was the objective of this summit 
to deliberate upon the targets as the country moves towards achieving the target of elimination of tb and what is the target 5 years ahead of the global target that is 2025 and also to showcase the learnings from national tb elimination program all right now a few months or you you can say few weeks back there was a portal which was launched uh, for tb can you name that portal write down in the comment section nahi hoga to main bata dunga agli class mein don't worry uh organizers ministry of health and family welfare and the stop tb partnership which was founded in the year 2001 stop tb partnership 2001 mein found hua tha and it is an organization hosted by united nation to amplify voices of the people communities and countries which are which are affected by this disease that is tb and these are some of the initiatives which were launched during the summit number 1 tb mukt panchayat initiative which seeks to leverage the support of over 2.5 lakh gram panchayat to raise awareness against this disease and also to eliminate the stigma which is attached to the disease all right number 2 family centric care model for tb which takes which seeks to ensure the well being of families which are affected by tb number 3 training module on extra pulmonary tb which has been developed for training healthcare workers of secondary and tertiary levels not the primary levels secondary and tertiary levels only of the public and private sectors of the public and private health institutions of the nation all right release of india's annual tb report 2023 which is a compilation of the country's efforts towards making india tb free by 2025 i will look at this report and if anything significant comes out i'll cover this report as well so don't worry and shorter tb preventive treatment it was rolled out at pan india level to prevent the development of active tb thereby stemming the spread of the disease all right so these are some of the initiatives which were launched and yes some state one state one ut and three districts were also awarded for their exceptional performance a towards ending the tb the state is karnataka the ut is jammu and kashmir and the districts are three which are nilgiris in tamil nadu pulwama of jammu and kashmir and anantnag again of jammu and kashmir theek hai ji so that is all so which state is this this state is karnataka option e is the correct answer and guys now let's talk about the questions in short so before that if you want to have the pdf of this session you can join this telegram channel the link is provided in the description right and if you want to ask anything you can follow me here question number 7 which ministry or ministries has have launched national action plan for dog mediated rabies elimination from india by the year 2030 kaun si ministry ne isko launch kiya hai so it is not only the ministry of health and family welfare but here ministry of fisheries animal husbandry and dairying is also included so the correct answer is option a and c of correct answer is option a ministry of health and family welfare and ministry of fisheries animal husbandry and dairy theek hai no confusion question number 8 which of the following navratna cpsc under ministry of mines has developed india's first and that is why i have taken this question and world's fifth bauxite certified reference material named as bark b1201 in joint collaboration with bark bhava atomic research center so this navratna cpsc in question is nalco which is national aluminum company limited option a is the correct answer question number 9 very straight forward where has united nation world conference 2023 been held and namami gange namami gange yojana participated in it it took place in new york option d is the correct answer and aaj ka session zyada lamba nahi hai last question for today which city will be hosting the second edition of environment and climate sustainability working group meeting as part of india's g20 presidency the first edition of this meeting took place in bangalore but now it's the time of second meeting which took place in gandhi nagar which will take place in gandhi nagar so option d is the correct answer all right guys so that is all for today i hope all the questions and their explanations are clear if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section 
and yeah i'll see you in the next session on friday till then keep studying and keep studying hard goodbye take care and god bless